Welcome. In front of me is a Poco F6, and today I will show you how we can record a screen on this device. So to get started, pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top right side of your screen like so, and then look at the screen recording, which will look like this, just a little camera icon. Once you see it, simply press on it. It will give you overlay with record folder, which takes you to the screen recording location, uh, settings and close options. Now to start recording, I'm just going to click on the circle. Once you're done, you can interact with the overlay, click on the square at that time, and this will save your screen recording to your photos application. So opening that up, you should be able to find it somewhere here. Now, unfortunately, uh, Xiaomi saves their screen recordings in camera, which will get very confusing later on if you have a lot of photos, videos and all that stuff, because they're all will be in the same location. So you could utilize this uh, with a folder icon, which takes you just to the dedicated location where you'll find only screen recordings. And here you can see this is the screen recording that I have captured uh, while on the video. Can I actually, can I play it without? Oh no. So there we go. Now, uh, before I finish this off, uh, I want to point out one more thing, which is that sometimes you will encounter a straight up black screen when recording. If you ever encounter such a thing, just know that whatever application you are trying to record uh, implemented this, what you could call a security feature that is part of Android, uh, which is designed to protect the user of the device from uh, basically being spied on by malware. So as an example, bank applications use this to block uh, any kind of screen uh, recording screen pinning applications to be able from seeing, for instance, your pin. So all that up or that spyware would be able to see is black screen. But this feature is also used by a decent amount of other applications that have zero business using it. For instance, Netflix, without ever signing in or agreeing to their terms of service, which I would say at that point does the exact opposite of protecting the user when an application has more control over your device than you do. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out and uh, additionally I want to add that there is no way around it. If you ever encounter such thing and you want to record that application uh, and it just blocks you, there is no setting for you to turn off unfortunately. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe and thanks for watching.